Good morning, Chesting High School. These are your student announcements for Wednesday, May 30th, 2018. I'm Pierce Gilpin. And I'm Carter LaFleur. Attention, lady basketball players. Updated summer camp information and calendars are available in the rack outside the athletic office. Please be sure to pick up one. Attention all boys. The summer basketball schedule is now available in the wall rack outside of the athletic office. There is a schedule for varsity and a separate one for JV, so please be sure to grab the correct one. Please contact Coach Weigel if you have any questions or concerns. The Shiawassee Conservation Association will be holding a youth trap program beginning June 3rd. The cost is $25. Attention football players. There will be a parent meeting on Thursday, May 31st at 6 o'clock p.m. in the CHS Student Center. Summer calendar and player expectations will be addressed, as well as planning for our trip to Benzie Central at the end of June. Contact Coach Mims, that's Mimranic if you don't know, if you have questions, comments, or concerns. Um, Pierce, they uh, told me it was weak to cry on camera, so how about you do this one? All right, Carter, this is, was the last week's seniors in their parting from CHS. As freshmen, we started out our high school adventure with anxiousness and excitement. Our biggest worry was a 500 word English paper we had two weeks to write. As sophomores, much of that anxiousness and excitement wore off as we learned more and more to just go with the flow. As juniors, we were joyfully standardized testing, and as seniors, we have now been blessed to learn about a beautiful thing called extension, which helps with the fact that we all seem to have been affected by a severe case of senioritis by now, even though most of us caught a freshman year. I think that looking back on all that we've accomplished is important, but it's also important to look at all of the people who have helped us since the very beginning. The people who have encouraged us and had faith in us through the numerous stresses we've endured, and also been there to pat us on the back at our best times. Their love and support has been the foundation of our success and will continue to serve as a source of strength as we continue to face success and failure. A sincere thank you to our faculty who have inspired us and guided us in our learning. They have always had faith in us since the beginning. From Mrs. Schultz letting us drop off our portfolios at her house in the middle of the night when they were due, to Ms. Conner having to push through all of our senioritis in third child when we were working on our projects. I remember when we were about to enter the high school as freshmen, when people were saying that the middle school teachers were warning the high school teachers about us and how crazy and talkative we were. <laughs> high school teachers won't put up with this, we hear. Well, four years later, I think they've grown to love us just a little. <laughs> it also brought us a lot of laughs. The last first day of high school. Again, planning to go to sleep early, but realizing that you can't because your sleep schedule's messed up from summer. Walking into the building with the countdown to graduation, already instilled in the back of your mind. The bittersweet feeling of knowing that this is the last time that you will begin a year in high school. The last time on the court or the field. Getting ready in the locker room with your teammates. Putting on the jersey for the last time as the sad feelings begin to hit. The excited yet heavy-hearted feeling that you get when you step out onto the court or the field, hearing the cheers from the crowd the difficulty of hanging up your cleats. The last celebration, graduation. The last time that each of us stand together in one place. The lunch menu for today is chicken drumsticks with sweet roll, or honey sriracha smackers with sweet roll, and cottage cheese or warm garlicky ham, and a cheese sub served with mashed potatoes and gravy with some sweet corn and? I'm pretty sure it's grapes. Yeah. Don't quote me on that but I'm positive it's grapes. Pierce, what's that weather like? Is it warm enough for me to model my new bathing suit yet? Well, Carter, it's going to be 82, but it's going to be partly cloudy, so I don't know. I'm going to rock that two-piece. It's going to be great. Goodbye, CHS. Ciao.